Hey guys, welcome to another video. The preparation for Starship Test Flight No. 2 is going at full speed. We have not seen such busy activities at Starbase before. The sheer amount of work being put in by SpaceX is pushing the boundaries. Works related to rebuilding the launch pad, installing equipment for the new deluge system, and modifying the orbital tank farm are all happening in parallel. Two huge tanks have arrived at Starbase. The purpose and where these tanks will be installed remain to be seen. Meanwhile, the road closure schedule for both June 12 and 13 has been revoked. Back at the production site, the Star Factory expansion continues. SpaceX is actively stacking new Starship and Super Heavy boosters inside the High Bay and Mega Bay. On Thursday, June 8, SpaceX was awarded six additional launch contracts by the Space Force to launch its national security missions. These launches will take place in 2025. SpaceX is targeting Monday, June 12, at 3.10 a.m. for the launch of another Starlink mission. Starlink Group 5-11 will launch another batch of 53 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit from SLC-40 in Florida. This will be SpaceX's 40th mission of the year. After about 14 hours later, SpaceX will be looking to complete a doubleheader by launching the company's eighth rideshare mission, Transporter 8, from SLC-40 at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Stoke Space, an American launch company that aims to build fully reusable rockets, says its Hopper SN1 test article has been scrapped, and they will move on to Hopper SN2. The company says it has collected important data from SN1, from prop conditioning to operational procedures and terminal count. A few issues were found during testing, and the company decided to scrap SN1 and move on to preparing SN2 for its first hop test. We don't know what happened to the test vehicle, but I hope Stoke Space has learned a lot and is moving forward with important data. Rocket Lab is also about to begin testing parts of its upcoming new rocket, Neutron. The company shared a picture showing the second stage test stand ahead of cryogenic stage structural testing. 2023 has been an innovative year for the space industry, with companies testing and developing new rockets. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.